Hello and welcome back to iProperty Radio with myself, Carol Tallon. You can contact us on social media at iProperty Radio or email hello at iPropertyRadio.com. In the PropTech hot seat today is Ollie Farago, CEO of Coyote, and we're joined by Peter Rose, Director and Head of UK Furbury. So, um, gentlemen, you're both very welcome. Peter, we might start with you, uh, Forbury. What what is the what is the offering there? Forbury is um, based out of Australia and New Zealand, in actual fact, and we've been building that um, uh, business for twenty years. We are effectively the go-to calculator for DCF and appraisal of property. So when um, uh, property companies are buying, selling um, property across APAC. Uh, Forbury has that um, dominant position. To be honest, we were starting to run out of runway and decided to look around the world for the next market. And the UK kept popping up as the as the obvious target. So about two and a half years ago, uh, we entered the UK market, um, completely revamped our product um, for local conditions. And now we're right into it with um, uh, half a dozen um, over here um, I'm driving the driving the business very good and i really what we're here to talk about today is a very interesting partnership between uh, your company and uh, coyote so ollie obviously you've joined us before so people may may recall or may be familiar but you might just remind our audience um uh, what what coyote does yeah thanks carol uh, nice to be here again so in a nutshell uh, coyote is an acquisition and asset management platform targeted at the commercial real estate industry so we help companies um, find the best opportunities to run at um, ultimately transact them quicker and then once they've acquired them then we help uh, help them manage the the assets manage their risk uh, and make sure that they have all of the information at hand that they need to do their jobs very good. So you might just um, share the information there in relation to the partnership, because this is a really interesting approach, one that maybe uh, used to be more common, is less common now, but actually a formalized partnership working together. So you might just talk us through how Coyote and Forbury will work together in the UK market. Yeah, absolutely. I think what we hear so often from our clients is that one of the big frustrations around all things prop tech is that there are so many different solutions popping up. It can be quite difficult. Um, they often have lots and lots of different tools that don't talk to each other. They've got to log in to different places and different platforms, and that can create quite a frustrated, disjointed experience. And so what we took the opportunity to do through our partnership with Forbury is really remove those barriers and try and make something that is completely streamlined. So what we've done is we've taken um, the, the Forbury's um, underwriting capabilities and their, their investment modeling tools, and we've integrated that right into the Coyote platform. So when a Coyote customer gets sent an introduction by an agent, that data is already extracted and structured within the Coyote platform, which is what they will then look at uh, as part of their deal screening to decide if they're going to progress this opportunity further or if they're just going to reject it and then just store that market intelligence for later. But now, if they are going to progress it forwards, they can just press one button and all of that data transfers into the Forbury product. They've got then all of the property information, the tenancy information, and they can just overlay their assumptions in terms of ERVs, void periods, and that kind of thing. And then straight away, they've got cash flows, they've got returns, and then they can take the Forbury model, drag it back into Coyote, and all that data is seamlessly ingested. There's no rekeying, there's no room for error, and then it's there ready to produce their packs for investors, for banks, and the whole thing can be done in the space of five minutes. Um that combined picture is a very compelling one for portfolio owners. Um, so how is it being received? Are, are, are you operational now? Yeah, I mean, it's the, the, the reception that we've had from our client base has been absolutely amazing. Like, I think we knew that it would be a compelling offer for our mutual clients because it was kind of a no brainer because it just takes two tools that they're using and makes it quicker. But actually, I think what's been so encouraging is that when we kind of did our first mail out to our to our Coyote clients and said, we've got this upcoming partnership with Forbury, would you be interested in taking a look? I think we had verging on a 98% yes hit rate for clients that said, yes, we really want to, to see this. And it's it's clearly a, a, a big pain point. Um, so actually talk to me then about maybe some of the people who are using this at the moment and how it is how it is different to how they were operating 12 months ago. 
Yeah, I, I, absolutely. So I the because it's quite a, a a new partnership. I haven't yet got sort of specific, explicit permission to name individual clients yet, uh, and I don't want them to to, to be cross with me. But I, I can talk generally about those clients without without sort of naming those clients. So b- before what they were doing is they were all using bespoke Excel models that they've probably built uh, themselves in house, and then they often, from our clients' perspective, they were. Um, writing different models or having to tweak and change and add things onto those models for every single deal that they did. And then to get the data from Coyote into those models, they were perhaps having to like manually rekey the tenants, the start dates, the break dates. And so the whole process was was, was quite disjointed. And, and regardless of the process being disjointed, actually, you know, the process of having a bespoke model that you've built in-house is just fraught with issues and that's probably something that Pete can you know talk more about yeah just on that on that Ollie I think I think you've covered off really well in terms of the workflow um Forbury is effectively a uh, DCF slash um property metric calculator that's what we do we are a modeling house um and so what we were looking to achieve is uh, a streamlined workflow and so we always come up against bespoke Excel models um as Ollie has referred to there's inherent problems there there's typically one author they're not easy to use you have to relearn them there's all sorts of versions but I'm not really here to sell the uh, the the Forbury product but we have a nice consistent we would say best of breed and what we wanted to do is team up with another best of breed um, expert in the form of Coyote so now what we've got is literally all that information sitting in Coyote you look at a target property you hit a button and we've got it down to 50 seconds so we have loaded up a fully functioning model ready to appraise a target it within 50 seconds it's somewhat unheard of in the property industry how is this being received by say commercial agents who would traditionally have maybe gotten 14 billing days to do that um the agents are starting to love the professionalism that they can illustrate so typically to um populate a model be it their own bespoke model send that to clients um and paint a very professional image of that um property that they are marketing they can now do it in a fraction of the time with a with a huge amount of accuracy but also on reporting that is very very professional for their clients to see so it's speed it's accuracy it's it's frankly the way that they are portraying insights into that property they are starting to really see a step change in how they can differentiate themselves um over the last number of years i've been critical uh, of uh, prop tech startups and innovators not working well together and actually that has resulted in a slew of either startups failing or perhaps M&As. So actually coming together in this partnership to me seems like a really good way for innovators to bring, as you rightly said, Peter, the the best, best in class of one and best in class of another and bring it together so that it really improves the offering for the industry. So it's something that we'd love to see more of. But for this particular partnership, um, this platform, is it available outside of the UK is this a partnership that you're looking you know will be will span a number of of regions I think from both of our perspective you know we've been so excited to see the 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 feedback that we've got here in the UK um at the moment we've built it around Forbury's Dayton platform which is the 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 UK specific um edition of, of of the Forbury platform but I think we've we've just you know, seeing it as a, a very much a opening gambit, really. And I think we're really keen to expand that as both of our platforms expand geographically as to how we can do that and provide the same benefit in, in different territories. You know, at, at the end of the day, we haven't done this because we thought it was a good idea. We've done it because like our clients were, were saying to us that this is what we want. This is what we need. We're fed up, as you said, with these walled gardens. And um, is Coyote operational in, in Australia? No, at the moment, at the, at the moment, we're not. And I think we, we, you know, we see that as potentially a really exciting, uh, exciting opportunity in the future. Uh, Peter, have you, this has Forbury got this similar partnership in any other geographic locations? 
Not of this ilk. So we always look at partnership as, um, frankly, a one plus one equals three. And to reiterate um, Ollie's point, it's got to be value adding to the customer. What we're seeing is almost a test bed in the UK, and the early indications are extremely positive. Would we love to roll this out through Australia, through our net, uh, through our client base? We've got about 180 um, clients da um, down under. We would love to. Peter, I love that approach because actually I think that that's one of the, the hidden objectives of a partnership. It should be that coming together is one plus one equals three, you know, not two. And I think that that's a really important point. But I, I, I know from a practical level, it takes a huge amount of trust and integrity um, and relationship building to, to get to this level of partnership. So just for our innovators, our prop tech startups who might be listening in, can you give us some insight into that journey, either how it started, how long it took, what were some of the challenges to overcome? Ollie, you've got to kick off there. Um, I've got plenty to say on this. That it's, it's a uh, two and a half to three year overnight success is how I describe it. Yeah, it really is really true. Like we, I think we first started talking about this when Forbury first came to the UK and first started exploring the UK market. Um, and, you know, we just, we just kept working at it. We kept talking about how it could work, coming up with different ideas. Um, and that was before we even decided to sort of start talking to customers. And then you start talking to customers to understand is their appetite you know, from there, you start then looking at the building, you know, it, it takes a long time to get something like this off the ground, but it's, uh, it's worth it. Um, and in terms of, you know, I mentioned there that it does require both parties acting with a lot of integrity in the early days. Um, well, obviously throughout, but as in you need that assurance in the early days and trust is such a huge part of it. And um, when you're getting, when you're getting into kind of the, the meat and potatoes of this type of conversation. So, um, how did that happen? Because I, it doesn't surprise me at all to know that it was two and a half or three years. I, that's exactly what I would have expected. Um, and I know a lot can go wrong in two and a half or three years. So, uh, Peter, you you seem to be holding back. You seem to be holding back I, there, but I know you've plenty to say. Uh, I am holding back because I think you've hit the nail on the head, Carol. It's all about trust. And um, I'm, I'm going to credit uh, Ollie with, with a very um, strategic approach to partnership. We came in as a newcomer to the UK. Coyote helped us. They, in fact, introduced us to the first two test customers. Now, I think that was, that was gold from our standpoint, but very, very smart from Ollie's standpoint. We got to know each other. Not, not working together as such, but working beside one another. Um, at every interaction, we were testing one another. We were saying, is the chemistry right? Is the actual partnership um, ingredients real? Um, can we start testing that on that one plus one equals three um, uh, concept? And I think it all boils back to trust. And that's why I joke and say it's a two and a half to three year overnight success. This has been a long time in building. And it's been, frankly, a pleasure as we've got to the to the legal stage of um, the partnership that because there's so much integrity because there's so much trust it's actually been a very very easy process um you know it, it, it's that's that's great to hear and i'm thinking how do you grow this because obviously you're looking at your existing client base you're looking at coyote's existing client base but now suddenly working together on the basis that one plus one in this case does add up to additional value um are you how are you going out into the marketplace and presenting this new offering which is neither one or the other that it is a, a new offering like who's taking the lead in terms of driving this to the market you go ollie i was about to say you, you, your marketing team has been um at the forefront yeah so i mean in, in the first instance um what we've done is we've made sure that we've integrated the the, the sort of the coyote forbury piece into our demonstration platform that we use when we're out demoing to, to clients. Um, and so it's now just the core part of what we show when we're demonstrating the platform. Um, and then so anyone that we're talking to, we're out there not only you know, talking about the benefits of the Coyote platform, but also the benefits of, of using Forbury within it. Uh, and so, yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I suppose I, I'm conscious of time and I know that we, we don't have a lot of time this morning to get into this, although I, I will definitely be touching base with you both in a couple of months to see how this is progressing and also to see how it's progressing, perhaps, perhaps um, you know, looking towards expanding outside of the UK. 
But in terms of the information that you're getting, you know, now outside of your service, but in terms of the, the information, what kind of trends are you seeing? Because obviously these are such uncertain times. Um, you know, it, it, it's a time when actually portfolio owners or those shopping for portfolios would certainly be, they will certainly be factoring in a huge amount of uncertainty into their buying decisions. Um, what kind of trends are you seeing or what kind of expectations do you have the marketplace performance in 2023? <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to kick. I'm happy to kick off with that. I think the last half of, of of last year, we've never seen anything like it. I mean, we've been through some strange times since we've started. We haven't had the easiest, the easiest, clearest run as, as an industry. Um, but I think from uh, probably record volumes of activity through the Coyote platform in the first half of last year, Q4 was you know, zero. I mean, it was probably 10, 15% of, of what we would have expected to have seen. Um, and I think from, from, from talking to clients, that's just because everybody's been doing a lot of waiting, wait, a lot of waiting to see where the, where things are going to settle down. Um, interestingly, you know, we were certainly assuming that that sentiment would carry on through a significant part of 2023, but actually the conversations that we're having so far this year are surprisingly optimistic. We're actually hearing a lot more from clients that are starting to feel that things perhaps have reached a, a kind of a floor and are starting to feel pretty optimistic about transaction volumes picking up significantly in Q2. So, you know, we'll, we'll watch and see, but there's, there's, if, yeah, from a from a complete lack of confidence, I'm starting to feel a bit more energy, a bit more enthusiasm again. Yeah, no, it, it's interesting actually, and I don't know if it's just kind of the flush of New Year when people are a little less jaded and a little more enthusiastic, but it's certainly the sentiment seems to be lifting. Although a lot of the the fundamentals underpinning that maybe haven't shifted so much. And um, Pete, before we wrap up, um, any expectations? from Forbury on for 2023? Oh, look, I think um, I'm going to approach this from a selfish perspective. Um, Forbury is, is always excited when things are moving. So what we've seen is interest rates all over the place, um, geopolitical um, pressures, um, uh, and property is all about risk mitigation. Now, whether you are doing an external transaction or whether you are appraising internally, that's where Forbury and Coyote come into, into play because everybody, um, portfolio managers, investment managers across the board are looking at what they have, looking at what they want to buy, looking at what they want to sell. And we have a part to play in all of that. So selfishly, we love it when things are uncertain and moving because that means our customers are doing constant appraisal. It's an ill wind that, that flows, no. <laughs> and that's really the epitome. You know, actually, I think that you're the first person I've heard to articulate it like that. But actually, that's a very good way to sum it up. You know, um, I think PropTech in general comes into its own when things are moving because that's when data is interesting and that's when right. modeling is required. That's a, that's an interesting way to sum up and it's a good way for us to finish this conversation. But again, um, I, I would love to touch base with you both over the coming months um, and see how this this partnership offering is being um is being received in the marketplace kind of and, and when when you're getting to a level of high traction and the other thing is actually i would love for any innovators uh, to really take on board what you know the learnings from this experience and that actually this coming together that not to lose heart if it does take two and a half to three years that that's the process that it takes um but actually the end result is a better is a better experience for the user and that's exactly where we need to be getting to so um well done to you both for trying this um and i look forward to hearing how this progresses um so that was ollie farago ceo of coyote and peter rose head of uk at forbury and that's it from us this week you can get in touch with the show on social media at iproperty radio or email hello at iprovertyradio.com my thanks to the hear me roar production team and to luke delaney on sound for dublin south fm until next time thank you for listening